Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines. A Detroit police officer hospitalized after a crash on Detroit's east side. Police say the wreck happened Saturday afternoon at Farnsworth and Chain, just south of I-94. We're told the officer was off duty but on his way to work at the time. He was rushed to the hospital. No word on his condition. Investigators are now trying to determine what caused that crash. Michigan is showing progress in the fight against the coronavirus so far. More than 57% of people over the age of 16 have received their first dose and about 44.5% are fully vaccinated. And case numbers continue to trend downward as well with just over a thousand new infections reported in the past 24 hours. Another 86 deaths were also reported. Henry Ford Health System says the number of COVID patients in the hospital is at the lowest level since mid-March. So it is easing visitor restrictions in the service area of each hospital. Masks are still required for patients, visitors and workers at all facilities and everyone will be screened with temperature checks as they enter a building. If you are looking for weekend plans, we have you covered. A taste of black spirits is taking over the Yum Village Marketplace and Pantry in Detroit. That's on Woodward and East Graham. The event showcasing more than 30 food, wine and liquor brands from across the country, including some local, all of which are black owned. On Sunday, the party kicks off at 5 and runs through 8 p.m. Tickets are available at eventbrite.com. Let's get a check of our forecast now with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, thanks, Brian. We'll continue to see the skies clearing up for the rest of tonight. Overnight lows are going down to the 60s before this evening. I'm thinking we'll stay in the 80s, a stray shower possible along in 59 and points north. But after that, I'm thinking most of us will be dry with temperatures in the 60s.